Welcome to the video that I've been waiting for for years. This is the Blackheart Centurion. Now, as you have seen, it kind of fell apart because I actually unpacked it a couple of days ago. Uh, but that being said, I'm still gonna try my best to give you the feeling of how I felt when I received the card. I will go as in the last video as to why I think it's worth it or not worth it at the end. I'll give you the pros and the cons and the reason, which is actually quite objectively why I decided on this card and why maybe it could be a waste of money or maybe not. So we'll see in this video. But without further ado, I'm gonna guide you through the entire experience. Uh, I have my iPad with me, so we'll go as well through what the website say because this card is covered in secrecy. And uh, even when asking my relationship manager about it, he didn't want to tell me a lot of things. So I'll just tell you what I asked him. Um, I took him out for a drink and just asked a lot of questions as to uh, what they do, how their day looks like, and how they ended up in that job. So I was genuinely interested, very surprised I got that card at such a young age, but uh, let's go through it. So this box, that's how they bring it. So, so there are two ways, there are actually two ways that they might bring it. So obviously this is for posting. So they have a courier that, uh, that just brings it, but I'm based in the Netherlands, so you have a choice between a courier or somebody bringing it to you, your relationship manager. Now my relationship manager wasn't at uh, the office that day, so one of the uh, sales representatives uh, brought it and we had a drink. Um, but so that's kind of the white postal package they bring it in. And then inside you have this beauty. Just like, normal cardboard I guess uh, what I like is the matte black finish we don't need this so on the box it says Centurion now I have to be again transparent I've already opened the box I made sure to tape over my credit card number uh, just in case the blur goes wrong uh, but so in case you see some tape be aware I've already opened it and put some tape on it so I can record this video for you uh, but Let's go over the box. So the box is kind of sturdy, but I wouldn't say it's some fancy, crazy finish. Uh, I would say it's like MacBook. When you buy a MacBook, you kind of get the same box, except this one's completely black. And it says Centurion. So uh, I'm gonna go into the unboxing of it and then the features. Now, the beautiful thing, what I really like is on the back of this box, it has a small logo of American Express, which I thought was really cool. And then when you open the box, you're greeted with this. And this is a book. And again, it says Centurion. And in the book, you get a ton of pictures. <laughs> so these are, I don't actually know what these pictures mean. They just, I have to be honest, it seems like they got some royalty free pictures from a website and just poured it in a book. But you know, it looks good, so that's good. Um, and then on page 13, it starts. Now, I'm Dutch, so it's all in Dutch, so it'll be hard to translate. But in short, the first page says, welcome to an extraordinary world. We are here for you and you are part of a select group of people. Welcome, welcome to Centurion, it says. So obviously when I read that, again, I was quite pleased. The reason why is because this, this card actually was on my vision board. Um, and the reason why is because when I craft my vision boards, they always feel like it should be something unattainable. So when they actually called me up without me applying for it, it seemed too good to be true. And I, at first I thought it was a scam because they sent it from an email that wasn't American Express, but it was um, the short uh, name of American Express in the emails. I don't remember exactly what it was, but it was something like AE something. Um, and so I double checked uh, the guy who sent it on LinkedIn and he was the, the Benelux manager of American Express. So uh, it seemed legit. Now the second page is, it says the ultimate limited edition. 
And then it goes into the, the fact that the card's made out of titanium, one of the most special metals in the world. And after that, they go into the table of contents. Now, the table of contents is really interesting because uh, it explains a little bit more about the relationship manager, uh, the experiences. These are the topics that I'm reading, the, the travel privileges and the services. Now, this is partially why I'm happy there is a book because like you can't find anything about this card so much so that when they called me to 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 invite me for this card I asked them do you guys have a website or something for me to decide whether it's worth it and what they did is they they I think they copy pasted something and just put it straight in the email these are the privileges you get and so there wasn't really a PDF. There was nothing. It was just like the connection I had via email and, and just um, kind of the trust that I had um, of what they told me on the phone. So a lot of kind of, I'm assuming they trust, you know, that I'm a loyal client. Uh, I've always paid my bills. So then it might be interesting uh, for me to collaborate further. And also I talked about it with, uh, with the guy I had a drink with. Um, they looked at what I spent my money on and assumed that um, I would be a good client. So I guess, well, I bought it, so I guess they know their customers. So the relationship manager, and then you have like a custom kind of to fit your suit picture and a traveling thing. It's, and then here it's um, unknown service. Uh, no, sorry, not unknown, unex like, the really cool service, pretty much. It's super bad at translating this, I'm sorry. Um, now, the one thing that bothers me about Centurion here in the Netherlands is, um, yes, the service is 24 seven, but your actual relationship manager, because he's an actual person, uh, works from nine to five. So after that, you get switched over to the UK, and then in case you need something, they will take over. I've already tried it a couple of times, and you always end up with the UK service. Uh, but that's kind of what they tell you here. Uh, you can uh, contact him from 9 to 5. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, the beauty of the Centurion card is that it's not only for me. It's also for an extra card holder. And I had the, I had the gold card before. So whatever you read about platinum cards, and that's the only requirement, that's not true. Um, I actually got the offer to upgrade to platinum. I didn't want to because I barely rent cars. So I didn't see much benefit in that. Uh, and the lounge access with the gold card, you also get the lounge access and then it's like 20 euros or something afterwards, but you still get access. Um, I don't, when I travel, I only use check-in. So there really was no benefit in me getting the platinum card. Um, the expenses that I do, I mean, honestly, yeah, the membership rewards are great and I've been using them a lot, but I mean, the platinum card was just not worth it. And I'll go deeper into why I got the Centurion card and not the platinum card a bit later. But uh, let's go into experiences. So that so we're on page 22 now and they go into experiences um, and they tell you about legendary experiences and uh, VIP concerts and the best table in restaurants. Yo, this is what I actually really liked about this card. They have something called Centurion Moments. So sometimes, uh, you have a band pre-releasing something uh, and then they invite you to a private concert, which by the way, is free. <laughs> so they invite all these Centurion Cardhold members to, to join there. Um, I actually asked if the actual Centurion card holders are invited or if it's like their family or friends or whatever. Uh, and the reason why that matters to me is uh, from a business perspective, because if these are actual Centurion card holders, then there's potential business opportunities there. We could help each other. Uh, whereas if it's just somebody they know that pops up there, then there's a smaller chance that, you know, it's actually a networking thing. Um, and the reason I say that is because I'm actually part of a couple of organizations here in the Netherlands where literally I have to pay a yearly fee, which I, by the way, I don't like, uh, but there are great organizations, great people in there. And the only kind of point of it is to network, uh, you know, uh, vibe with mutual people that are going through the same thing. And just that community feeling, especially when you're doing entrepreneurship, which is quite lonely, is sometimes worth uh, some kind of money. Uh, and that's already one of those things that I really liked about Centurion, even though I haven't experienced it yet. So I have to be honest, not sure what's going to happen there. 
So after you go into this, again, pictures, no idea why they use these pictures. And then you go into uh, travel privileges. So in the travel privileges, they welcome you. They tell you pretty much what they tell you in the platinum card, which is uh, you have 1200 lounges and you know, same thing. Um, then uh, you get, oh, this is the good thing. So you get privileges when you stay at a hotel. Uh, so early check-in, uh, guaranteed late checkout, free upgrade to your room, uh, free uh, breakfast for two people, and special extras that add up to, I see here, $100 in dinners and spas and whatever. Um, and then you, you also get, uh, you can also get a voucher for spa, up to $75 I see here, free room upgrade, all that stuff. So yeah, it's pretty cool, I like that. The vacation collection. Um, oh, th these are different hotel kind of conglomerates and then this is what they offer. Uh, cruise privileges. Um, my girlfriend's grandparents do cruises. I don't do that that much. But in case you do cruises, it says that you can, uh, you have a budget to spend on board and you can even get a, a bottle of champagne. I mean, not sure how important that is, but I can imagine, you know, if you send uh, the grandparents over that, you know, will be a nice addition, especially a good gift. Um, this is what I really, really liked because it, it shortcuts and I love shortcuts. I am super lazy when it comes to that. I don't want to uh, go through all the loyalties and amp up. I just kind of want a shortcut. And so the Centurion card kind of gives you that shortcut into loyalty programs. So with Radisson, you get the gold status. With Hilton, you get the diamond elite status, uh, IHG club platinum elite status, Malia rewards platinum, Shangri-La golden circle diamond membership, Starwood preferred guest gold elite status. Uh, and then what I really liked, and that's partially also why I went for it, is the crafted journeys. So it's literally a nightmare when you have a ton of employees and you do team buildings a lot because culture is super important to me. I mean, these people are my family. Uh, and so I spend most of my time with them. So I really, I want to do cool team buildings, uh, but planning those team buildings, especially when your team starts getting up to like, we're now like above 20 people. Um, I mean, just planning that is horrible. Uh, and so, Partially what I really like is that you have a relationship manager who pretty much will arrange everything for you, including, and that's what they promised me, finding all the best discounts uh, in a great place so that we feel happy, uh, accommodated, and, and that we just have an amazing experience. Um, I mean, they promised me that Centurion gives you the back door to everything. It gives you uh, not so I, I actually asked them on the phone does it mean if I get the Centurion card that I'm gonna be paying extra because they see that I have a Centurion card and they promise me that it's actually not the case it's what you get is access to a back door where you get uh, extreme better privileges uh, which means to me uh, discounts um, so that you have to pay less for certain things that normally cost more um, and so that actually sounds very attractive because at the end of the year, I can actually calculate, um, I can literally just calculate in an Excel sheet how many benefits I got out of it and whether the price was worth it. And if not, I mean, that's part of taking risks, right? Uh, sometimes it doesn't pay off and then, you know, you lost some money uh, where in the beginning, it's obviously super scary when, you know, I was, I didn't have anything. But now uh, it's part, you need to have that risk budget. If you don't have that risk budget, then what's the point of you being an entrepreneur in the first place? Anyways, we go on the next page, which is page 43, the privileges when you fly, Privium, which is great because uh, in Amsterdam, um, they have the Privium Lounge, which looks great. I've never visited it actually, but um, I always, <laughs> I always end up being there five minutes before the plane closes. So I usually run through the airport. Um, so yeah, uh, the global lounge collection, I think that's the same actually as the platinum card. 
Um, they did tell me that because I now have a Centurion card that my old lounge card needs to be replaced. So pretty much I had to throw it away and now I have to wait until the new lounge card arrives. Uh, so that's something to know when you're switching, if you're switching. Then you have a meet and greet. Uh, if you fly in business or first class, uh, you'll be personally um, greeted at the gate uh, with the, to, check, to do the passport and, and baggage control and make sure that there's a car with a driver. Um, I mean, okay. Uh, I usually have a skateboard with me, like a small penny board, uh, skate through the gates. I actually never have a problem with it except for when I'm in the States and there's always like in some uh, airport, there's always somebody from security who's stopping me with that skateboard. But outside of that in Asia or in uh, Europe, I never have a problem with the skateboard. But uh, VIP service, exclusive VIP service in Amsterdam. That stuff is not actually super important to me, but um, so what they say is right before departure or right after you arrive, you would be transported with luxury vehicles to your airport or the VIP center. Uh, you just need to make sure that you book it through your Centurion relationship manager. Okay. Ooh, I like, uh, I like this watch here. I'm quite of a watch guy. I like that. Oh, that's actually something really interesting. I was talking to the guy uh, who delivered my Centurion card and he told me that part of what the relationship manager can do is scout out good deals on watches. So literally, if my job was a professional uh, watch collector and, you know, selling, flipping watches and all that stuff, uh, which is a legitimate business, it's just not my business, uh, I could literally just have my relationship manager scout out the, these watches and make sure to like, to negotiate a great deal for me. Um, so pretty much my entire business would be outsourced to Centurion. Um, so that's a business idea maybe if uh, things don't go well, but um, probably not gonna do that. So then we go to privileges when you rent cars. Now, I don't rent cars because I live in a, in a city where you can bike everywhere. That's on purpose. I actually moved here because I didn't want a car. I wanted a city like New York where having a car would literally not be the best case scenario. So I do everything by bike. I love it. I chose the city for that reason. Uh, it is uh, where I live, actually, one of the best connected stations uh, in Europe and it has multiple airports around it, including the Amsterdam airport. And, um, and so I really like living here without a car. Now, I never, ever considered renting a car because I have this thing with the business. So our business has this thing with... Um, with car sharing, so I can just literally just car share and cost barely anything. But with the Centurion card, what you get is these privileges, uh, which again means discounts to such an extent that it's actually, it might be cheaper to rent a car for me if I go to the Ikea or something than, than to do the car sharing thing. Um, they upgrade you right away to the Hertz Gold President Circle and the Avis President's Club, which which I really love, is 35% discount, as well as an upgrade to two car categories higher if available with Avis, and then a ton of other stuff with Hertz, like pickup and delivery service, free skiing apparel and stuff like that, which, I mean, I try to at least once a year go somewhere to the mountains to, you know, snowboard or something, haven't done it this year, but you know, it would be cool. And then, you know, the usual stuff, which is the insurances and the global assist. Uh, I actually got into American Express because I started traveling a lot and uh, global insurances are quite expensive. Uh, and so the American Express had actually a cheaper insurance if you buy the card. So I would have a credit card, which gives you membership rewards as well as the insurance. Um, Maybe I didn't do my research properly, but at the time when I actually got it, it was uh, the best insurance. Now, then we get to services. What kind of services do they have? Well, the membership rewards, the app. Uh, the membership rewards are exactly the same as the Platinum card. 1.5 membership rewards points uh, for every euro you spend. 
Uh, I have insurance, which is the same thing. That's kind of it. I like this one. Uh, this, this is actually the picture that I received uh, when they invited me. Uh, and it, it really shapes what Centurion is, which is they can just arrange this amazing kind of view with, you know, for dates, which is obviously great. Uh, just planning dates, you know, it takes time as well. So these are like small things it would be saving me time with. So that is the Centurion booklet you get with it. I wish all of this was available on a website before I ordered it, but you know, it seems pretty cool. Then there is a letter and I haven't read the actual letter completely. So you'll be reading it with me. And uh, here it says, welcome to Centurion. It's a, I'm literally translating. So if I uh, take a break, uh, please bear with me. So welcome to Centurion. It's a great pleasure to welcome you to our extraordinary world of Centurion. Wherever in the world, uh, whatever you will ask us, we will be ready for you. For your Centurion membership, there is a unique Centurion card, the only card in its kind and uh, made by the most special metals in the world, titanium. With every letter of your name uh, handcrafted, holy moly, I didn't know that. Um, as a Centurion member, you will have special privileges that are only allocated for the few. Your membership will give you personal will give you a personal Centurion relationship manager that will know uh, your preferred things um, and where you can ask just about anything, whether it's traveling, tailor-made vacations, art, culture, entertainment, uh, your relationship manager will be there for you. On the visiting, on the, on the card, oh, in the visiting card in this package, you will find his or her contact thing, um, data okay i didn't get that card yet i guess uh they will they told me they will call me next week about that so i'll get the card then i guess um yeah i kind of that's also something i have to mention i kind of made them speed it up because i'm actually leaving next week on a on a 10-day trip and uh i need a credit card and they actually canceled my old credit card so that they could start this credit card so that's why i kind of sped it up and that's why uh, it was a sales executive bringing the Centurion card and not someone else. Um, but anyways, um, if you wish something uh, and it's possible, your Centurion relationship manager will be happy to provide it for you. I wish you a very good, happy beginning of your special uh, journey through the world of Centurion. And I hope that you will enjoy it through the new and unique experiences that Centurion offers you. And it's written by... Uh, the guy, the country manager of Benelux. Now, uh, I think this is printed. This is not a hand, yeah, this is printed. So this is not a handcrafted message. I think uh, one of my mentors has a Centurion card. He, uh, <clears throat> I think he got the exact same one, just in English. So I actually double checked with, I know some people that have the Centurion card in, in other countries. I double checked with them if it was worth it. Now, normally there is uh, this, so here there's a card. Now, uh, I have two cards uh, and I got two cards. The second card is with one of my employees. She's my right hand and so she got a card as well. But without further ado, let's go into my card, which I put in the wrong way, which is why it's such a drama. Actually, normally it's like that, like that, and then the cards are kind of like there. That's how the cards are in there. Anyways, I messed that part up, so I'm very sorry. So, but in any ways, they give you this kind of stuff. As you see, I put some tape over it for obvious reasons. Um, I'm happy to share this thing with you because it's an amazing experience that I've always wished for for a long time since I started my business. Uh, I know it's a stupid kind of like dream, but for me it was something to aim for. And that's why I was very happy when out of the blue they called me. I, I promise, I, I literally said no to the platinum card, so I never expected they would call me for the Centurion card. Uh, but maybe it's because I said no, you never know. Um, so before I go actually into the card, there's this thing here, which I really like, and then you can open this. 
And what you will find in here is a luggage tax with the Centurion thing, which is really cool. So it's like luggage tax, and then you have these bracelets for it as well. And then you just go like that. I'm not the best at this. And then like this. So that is it. Luggage tax. You get two of those. I guess for the amount of money you pay, it's better than nothing. And then you fold it in. Anyways, let's go into the actual card. So I'm just going to put everything back. I like when it's a little bit more tidy. So that's like that. Then you're going to fold this. And then these things go here. So I'm just going to put the card like that. So the Centurion card. Um, the first thing that I noticed, um, and so my other employee who has a card uh, didn't have the smell, so this was interesting, but when I smelled it, like it still smells like chocolate. I don't know if they know that I like chocolate that much um, because the other card didn't smell like chocolate or I don't know what happened, but it smells like chocolate. And it's literally amazing to smell. Um, and it's not my fingers because it's the third day and I wash and you know, I don't know, this is so funny, but I love chocolate and it smells like chocolate, which I have no idea why. Now, the first thing is the sound. Like this is literally, this is just really sturdy. It doesn't bend. So normally cards can bend. This one just doesn't bend. Um, and the sound is just crazy. Um, it is, it is, it is a really, well, I have to be honest at the end of the day, it's just a card, but for me, it's, you know, accomplishing a goal and, and having an accomplishment of goal and it being so remarkable, um, like a titanium card that smells like chocolate and is completely black. Um, is just for me really nice because it pops up. What I always wanted to say um, is, I so what I always say is I, I don't like tattoos. I don't do that many tattoos. We have tattoo clients and you know, they do amazing thing. At the end of the day, I'm a filmmaker. I love the art, especially how they do it. But I'm just, I'm not a tattoo guy. Uh, I don't like putting stuff on my body. Needles are not for me. Um, but what I have is these tiny things that just are like a tattoo or things that I wear every day and or use every day. And one of those things are watches. Uh, so for me, watches have an emotional connection. Uh, they, they represent something. And it's one thing that I look at every day because I need to know the time. Um, and I want it to remind me of something. And it's the reason why I'm not going to wear an Apple watch anytime soon just because um, there's more to that than, than, than just the watch aspect. There is the reminder to work harder. I mean, uh, just, just this watch alone, it just represents um, the people I look up to. Uh, and so to remind me that I can, I can work more, obviously with work-life balance in mind, which is again, the connection I have with this watch. And so the, the credit card will kind of go into the same kind of ordeal for me. Uh, payment services, it's something I use every day. And if I'm able to take out a card and I mean, in the Netherlands, this card doesn't mean much if I'm really honest, because there are a lot of banks that give you an entry level bank account and they give you a black card as well. I mean, the card looks black, so it's probably indistinguishable, indistinguishable. And I have to be honest, from all the employees we had in the company, I think maybe one person knew what a black card was or heard the stories about it. Um, the only reason they know now is because obviously I've talked about it. But so this card actually is more of an emotional thing um, and what it represents than, than what it actually is. So in short, if you're ever offered a Centurion card, and you literally just want to boast because it's a black card, 
then I mean you can just get any card out there there are so many cards now where you can even personalize the picture so you could literally just get a picture from Google with the American Express thing just put it on there or just make a completely black card so just it being black isn't going to get you any points let's put it that way um, so if you're going to get it make sure that you know it's something you know more than that uh, unless you're actually using it the way I hope I'll be using it uh, which brings me actually to the pros and the cons of this card uh, from obviously what I've experienced I only have a couple of days so I haven't experienced much so first the pros and the cons so I'm gonna actually take an iPad and I'm gonna look up on Google what they have because everything I researched on Google was almost incorrect it's really hard to get to know anything everything i read for you in that book i've i haven't found anywhere on google but i found this one website a dutch website which again i need to translate uh but it was kind of closest to being accurate none of the english ones seemed pretty ac accurate to me it seemed weird wikipedia was actually pretty good but this one was interesting because, um, so the card, well, the history of the card is obviously in the beginning was kind of a myth and then they introduced it because there were a lot of rumors and it got introduced in 91 in the US and then in, in the Netherlands in 2005. I actually talked with the guy and they said they have like a small kind of uh, group of people that take care of Centurion uh, to make it really like personalized and cool. So some things they say here, um, you should have at least a platinum card. So that's kind of already debunked. Um, now I have to say, I think I'm a special case because of the fact that the expenditure on the card was actually quite a lot because we, we spent uh, whatever we could spend uh, through the card we did obviously. Uh, and so, so probably that's why eventually, uh, and the platinum card was offered to me. I just, I had some issues with it, which is the reason why I didn't upgrade at the time. It didn't seem beneficial to me at the time. Uh, if I would have traveled more or had more car rentals, probably I would have used it. Another thing is, so all this stuff about like your income and at least how much you spend. I'm not going to go too deep on that. I was raised not talking too much about money, but I mean, it's still cool to share this kind of stuff. Um, I can only tell you that I'm not sure how accurate all of this is. I actually asked again, why was I selected? And the guy answered, uh, it's not how much you spend, it's on what you spend. And because one of the things that uh, we do as a team is all those team buildings, um, and the growth of the company also led, I mean, we grew literally doubled over the summer. So all of these expenditures that we were doing uh, with the team buildings and the traveling and, and when I speak somewhere, uh, I think that's what got picked up on the radar. And that's why they invited me because I didn't apply for the card. I actually didn't know they had it here in the Netherlands. Um, and so I don't think income is as much a deal as what you're spending it on. Um, and I guess I'm not going to go too deep on that. It's, it's basically all I know and all I ask them. So you cannot ask this card. You have to be invited, which is true. Uh, the way they did it. Well, the way they did it is weird because I have mentors who literally got a, like a card sent to them. I just got an email. So with me, it was a little bit different. I just got an email. Um, and then, um, you know, I said, cool, I want more information. And then uh, they hopped on a call with me, explained everything. Um, I t did tell them that, you know, I want to see more information, compare a little bit. But the whole thing was done in less. Well, it was the whole thing was done in less than a week. But then the actual card delivery took really long. Um, so they have to craft them again. Again, apparently it's handmade. So it took really long before everything got um, changed to Centurion. I think it was like two months almost. Um, sometimes they do it in a, in a month. Um, so in my case, it wasn't. Uh, so then it says here you get, you know, a black box to your doorstep, uh, which I already explained. They actually deliver it here, uh, which I appreciate a little bit more because, you know, 
it's nice to have a face to to who I'm talking to, especially with a relationship manager. Um, and then, okay, so here's the thing. So the black card, everybody's like unlimited spending. Uh, the black card, the Centurion card, is just the exact same card as it is with, you know, platinum or gold or even the green one. Uh, it's not unlimited spending. It's based on how you spend it. So if I'm not going to be spending $30 million every month, obviously, because I don't have that money. So my unlimited expenditure isn't going to be 30 millions. I have probably a specific limit. I don't know exactly what my limit is. Whenever I do a big expense, I call them up front because they know that I pay every month. They know that I'm probably good for it. If I, you know, tell them on the phone that I'm good for it. Uh, sometimes if they don't trust me, they might ask additional financial information, but it's not unlimited spending. It's the same unlimited spending you would have with a green card, a gold card or a platinum card. So that's already kind of like a myth that is debunked. If you're making 30 million, 30 million a month and you want to spend uh, on a private jet, you're probably going to be able to spend it on a Centurion card. But again, in the Netherlands, if they accept uh, an American Express, uh, because not everywhere do they accept American Express, um, even though I have to be honest, it's getting better and better. And I'm actually getting, you know, my money back from from the old cards. You know, whenever I spend, I get it back in membership rewards. And I've been literally uh, that previous card has made me money because of that, uh, especially when I have to book a flight. Um, I mean, I can just book it through my miles to get my money back. Um, so 24 uh, seven as assistance. Look, it's not really nine to five. And then if you want, you get the UK ones. The benefits are cool, even though on the websites everywhere I looked, they didn't actually list those benefits with the diamond and the president's club and stuff like that. If I knew that this card gives you so many discounts, I mean, I would have actually been way more open to it um, on the first call because I was a little bit skeptical in that first call. But that's kind of most of the things that are mentioned here. Um, the Centurion Lounge Networks, I mean, honestly, the Platinum card gets you in most of those as well. So it's just like the small things where it uh, beats the card out. And that's kind of where I go into the pros for me. So why did I get the black card? So there were two things which I kind of already mentioned. The pros of uh, the American Express Centurion black card. So one was potentially uh, meeting other Centurion card holders um, that are on the same path as me. Uh, just getting into those circles uh, is, I mean, you have to pay no matter whether you get the black card or you go to an event uh, internationally. And most of those events are held in the U.S. So that alone costs a couple of thousands. So that was one of the things that seemed really exciting. Um, the second thing, and that was more probably the, the thing that, you know, was more interesting to me is um, what you actually get in personalized service. So I'm actually going to ask for an entire list of everything, everything that was ever asked uh, in Centurion. I just want to see how my relationship manager <laughs> reacts to that, uh, because what they promised me is a personal assistant. Uh, and if I really look at the price per month for this card and what I get, what, what kind of assistant I would be getting for that, um, then it, it would literally save me money and it would save the company a lot of time, especially HR. Uh, I mean, my employees are amazing. They're amazing people. But if their time is spent with looking stuff up on, you know, Airbnb or whatever, that's literally time that we could have been spending on scaling or finding new ways to inspire or, you know, impact or whatever, the things that make them special. Um, and so that's partially why objectively it seems like it could be a good deal. But again, I don't know. I'll only know at the end of the year after I've run everything through Excel and seen how much time and money this card actually saved. Because um, if, you know, it's just a dream in my head, then, you know, it's a risk. It's a risk that we took uh, as an entrepreneur. That's your job. You have to take risks. Um, but so far, I kind of have to say with my previous experience with the last card, um, it was a risk 
I took it and it really paid off, like really, really paid off. So I'm kind of hoping this card will do the same, especially when a brand has proven itself to me that it really pays off. I, it, I always give it the benefit of the doubt to take that risk again. Um, and so I also heard stories of one of the other, uh, that there are other cardholder members that are speakers that travel all over the world, have to book their own accommodation. So that's literally everything that a relationship manager can do. And then you can only imagine how much, uh, you know, of a safe and just, you know, especially when you travel, um, I'm really bad. Uh, I have quite some allergic reactions to some food. Uh, just being able uh, for somebody that has unlimited availability to you to scout out restaurants where I can actually eat and not get sick. I mean, those are little things that eventually pile up and save time, save money and give me better health and less stress. Um, but above all, and I think especially when you get to that uh, kind of card, it's not only about me, it's also about the team and the people behind me. Uh, and if I can make their lives a little bit nicer by having, you know, a simple card like this, um, I think I think it makes it worth it. So those were kind of the two things that were going through my mind as to why uh, it could be worth it um, or not. Again, if I rent a car, it's a nice privilege again, but it wasn't, you know, the deal breaker for me. Uh, and the lounge access and everything is super nice. I have to be honest, I don't use that many lounges. And the reason why is because when I travel and I go to some of these airport lounges, the things they give in there are just like alcohol and really shitty sweets. Um, and I don't drink that much alcohol, so it's not like I'm gonna get wasted right before a flight. So these lounge access, uh, yeah, I mean, it's not like they have boots there with, you know, plugs and stuff. It's kind of the same as outside, where sometimes outside you have better plugs for your computer um, and better space to sit. Plus you're actually next to the gate uh, and you can see when people board. So those are the two pro pros that kind of made it uh, a good deal for me. The cons, uh, it's really expensive, like ridiculous. Um, I don't see uh, if it will pay off. I'm kind of hoping on that, you know, we'll figure out a way to make it pay off. Um, but in general, um, yeah, I mean, the other con is the, well, it could be a pro or it could be a con, right? I mean, it's still cool to be associated to something cool like Centurion, uh, but that's actually also a con. And, and the way I, I phrase it usually is, uh, I used to have this red motorcycle when I was a student and I didn't have a girlfriend back then. And so I thought, oh, if I have this red motorcycle, you know, girls would pay attention to me. Uh, so that's not how it works. Uh, when you go with your red motorcycle on, uh, on the street, uh, it's usually the super weird guys that will scream at you, hey, rev that engine. It's, it's, it's a super weird experience. Uh, so I, I kind of sold that uh, motorcycle. Um, but so with the Centurion card, I'm kind of, um, well, I'm hoping it won't happen like that, but uh, I'm just crossing my fingers and hoping that that con will not pop up, that um, it will just be positivity and good people uh, as long as I put positivity out in the world. Um, but, but I'm kind of scared a little bit that when people see this card, they will think that we do some crazy things. Uh, whereas, uh, what they don't know is that all the money almost that we get is being put back into the culture, the team, the business, uh, possibilities to impact because at the end of the day, um, I mean, I'm pretty young. I really don't need, uh, to have personal money. Uh, if I have money, uh, it usually, uh, I mean, for me, my family is the people I work with every day. And so the happiness of them is where the money should go. And I realized that, and that's also how I was taught leadership. So, but anyways, back to, that's possibly a con. We are people looking at you, associating some things, thinking you are not a cool or rich person, which if anybody knew me, they would, uh, associate me a little bit more with a child than a rich person. I do tend to game a lot um, till deep in the night, which is something I need to work on. Um, but so yeah, so that's kind of uh, another con that I'm a little bit scared of. And I think the reason I'm scared of it is because I'm a massive introvert. I try uh, only to speak on camera when I need to. Um, and so in general, I'm quite quiet, especially at networking 
uh, nights. But that's why I have a cool team, right? That are all extroverts. Almost all of them are extroverts to compensate for my weaknesses. So uh, another con, which is not a con really, it is really heavy. Uh, and the con of that is um, that if you lose a card, it will cost quite a lot of money <laughs> to get a new one. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if they will get you a new card for free, but I did read somewhere that if you have an extra, if you need an extra card, you'll be paying quite a lot of money. So that's a massive con. Uh, so I'm just going to be really careful with this card. Um, and, uh, and in general, I mean, in general, there is a, uh, well, the small cons are like, Hey Centurion, why couldn't you do more membership reward points? Uh, like it seems like Centurion and Platinum are quite similar and that's actually quite shitty because you're paying way more for a Centurion card. So you kind of expect more benefits, uh, even though I do realize you're paying for your relationship manager more. Um, but like it would be cool if, you know, you would get three membership reward points, which is the double of Platinum because the price is, you know, way more than double uh, for Platinum. Plus you have the joining fee as well. Um, so yeah, uh, outside of that, I guess we're here in the conclusion part of it, which is, is this card worth it? Uh, as I said, unless you're going in with the mindset that I had, which is, this is a risk that we're taking, to see if it pays off. Just like with the old card, we did it, it paid off. Um, and so now we're kind of taking a risk, which is obviously a high risk. I do realize that in the old card, um, but we've also grown at this point. So we're taking another risk, seeing if it will pay off over a course of a year uh, and seeing if it will actually save us stress, uh, money, uh, HR drama, whatever. Um, and just in general, make me feel uh, that I'm able to relax um, and, and being able to eat the right food when I'm abroad because uh, I cannot eat certain types of foods. Um, and that's partially why I stopped traveling because I really just don't like that whole experience. Uh, and so maybe I'll start liking traveling again. So that's something I'm really looking forward to, uh, especially because I've visited now, I think 30 something countries. So it'll be nice. Um, so yeah. So is it worth it to me? I, uh, I think it is. I think it is. Uh, we will see at the end of the year, but like, again, is it worth it to you? Uh, there's a high chance it's probably not worth it unless you're one of those people that I mentioned, like a speaker who travels all over the world and needs to book his own accommodation. Uh, somebody who is an entrepreneur and travels on their laptop. I can imagine for you, this would be amazing. Um, but then obviously you need a fixed address. So I'm not sure how you would get this card. Uh, but to these small things, if you are by any chance one of those people, I think it's actually really worth it for other reasons than it's worth it to me. Um, uh, because I have a fixed company, not traveling too much. Um, obviously, if you're flush with cash uh, and you have you know nowhere to spend your money on, I think one of the good things is to have a card like this uh, just because the relationship manager will be able to take care of most of the things you need throughout your day. Because if you're flushing cash, you're probably wanting some exclusive things like watches and, and restaurants and whatever. And even though I don't do most of those restaurants and concerts and all that beautiful stuff, um, I can imagine for those people that really enjoy that kind of stuff, they do. So yeah, um, is it worth it? Uh, I don't know, it's super expensive and I hope it will be worth it, but we'll only know at the end of the year. Um, so yeah, with that being said, if you like this video, um, I don't know, give me a comment. Uh, I would love to actually know uh, about more stories about this card. Um, I just want to give a disclaimer as well. Uh, be careful with credit cards. Like the credit cards uh, pay the bills. Like I've only gotten this card because I paid the bill at the end of the month and I never spent more uh, than what I could afford. 
I got a card because I got those membership reward points. So instead of you know using my debit card uh, and losing money, I actually had a card that now made me money because for every expenditure that I did, I would uh, I would get membership reward points and save myself some money with that. Um, so be careful with credit cards. Don't go crazy. Don't start spending a lot of money expecting this card. Uh, like I said, it's a very strategic move on my part as to why it could be worth it. Um, but so small disclaimer there. Now, if you liked it, comment below uh, what sh what kind of stories you know about this card, things that people did or asked their relationship manager that could be really interesting. I'd love to test it out. Um, and yeah, I guess that's kind of it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here with me through this entire journey. This has been on my vision board for nearly a decade and I'm super humbled and blessed that I'm finally able to, to hit this level and, and just mentally have to kind of get a new goal to work towards. So it's super interesting and then good times are happening and I'm super happy that, you know, the resources that I use are uh, used to, you know, scale and uh, help other people as well. So couldn't be possible without the support of uh, people watching, people like you, um, even though I'm not really a YouTuber, but just like other people that supported me as well, my mentors and stuff like that. So thank you so much. Um, if you have any other questions about the card, let me know and uh, maybe I'll make another video. Thank you so much. If you like this episode, you can check out the most recent episode here. And if you haven't already, make sure you click here to subscribe and see the next one. But if you're interested in more tips and tricks on improving your health, wealth, and relationships, then click this little box and we'll get you started on our free 30-day challenge where you get the behind the scenes of some of my speeches and day-to-day -day clients.